hooked her at the Tins Institute. As promised, you guys asked to see the uh, C6 Corvette back window and how we do it. So I'm gonna go over it. First things first, I've striped the outside of the matrix with the glass aid so that you can see when I've shrunk past the matrix. And then in addition, I just wanna make it clear that I've used the dry shrink prep to prep the glass. And the reason why I like the dry shrink prep uh, more than the bar of soap is because to do the H pattern, you do not need to use water. And one of the very first tips that I have is getting your H pattern in the right spot. So because I don't have to use water with the dry shrink prep, if I don't like the H pattern, I can just lift it up and do it again and I haven't left water behind versus the way I used to do it. If I put water on my H pattern and then I don't like it, the film's wet and it kind of throws you all off. So as you can see, the dry shrink prep works really good for slidability. And when I lay the film on there naturally, I can see where the H pattern wants to go naturally. If the camera can get that side angle, you can see the film coming right through here is laying down naturally with no fingers. The fingers start right about here. And then again on the top, they start right about here, but right through here, there's no fingers. So I, wanna, I don't wanna fight the natural curvature of the glass. I'm a little high on the matrix up here and I'm barely covering the matrix. So I'm gonna just slide the whole thing down just a little bit. And another very important thing when you're doing any difficult window is you wanna make sure that the film is straight, meaning this wouldn't be straight because the factory edge is not straight. We all know the film only shrinks off the factory edge when it's vertical. So I wanna make sure that this factory edge is nice and straight. And then from there, I'm just gonna tack it in the middle. And there's a lot of windows out there where I stretch it as hard as I can. This is not one of those windows because this area is really easy. So I actually want as much of a finger in the middle here as possible. So I'm just gonna lightly do my H pattern. And then on the side here, I leave a big wing, if you will. And then in the matrix, I cut as close to the edge of the glass as possible. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. And again, I'm intentionally leaving that because I want to be able to hold on to it and pull on it. Okay, now I'm ready to finish my H pattern. And again, I'm not pulling very hard. I'm not pulling at all. I'm just smoothing it out. And then on the side here, this is an, again, another one of those critical tips. I'm gonna leave what I call a cheater finger where I just leave a little bit of finger here because my, the trick is if I could squeegee you over this right now without creasing it, then I'll for sure be able to get that finger out after installation. But if I were to chase this all the way around, obviously it's gonna cause a lot more film that needs to be shrunk. So I leave just a cheater finger, if you will, on the side, and I'll leave as many of those as I can. And then lock that in. So this is the end product on this side. And again, you can see the glass aid. I can easily squeegee those fingers past the glass aid without creasing it. So call it what you want, but as you can see, I would cut right here. This would be so easy to squeegee down after, but if I brought this around to the side to shrink, it would make it dramatically harder. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Little cheater finger what I've been calling it and then I'm gonna seal it it's kind of a little pocket right there it's not even going into the clear glass this one's kind of going into the clear glass this one's going a little bit but again if you can squeegee over it without creasing it it's not enough to worry about okay then the other trick and someone named this trick is to make it a little bit easier where this film is standing up a lot and you can tell it needs to be shrunk a lot, I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna do relief cuts. And obviously what that's doing is it's letting the film lay down more because this film is now overlapping because I've done the relief cuts. 
So it's already starting to lay down more than it was before I do the relief cuts. And obviously the more the re more relief cuts you do, the easier it's gonna be. But in my mind, you don't need to get carried away and do them every 30 seconds of an inch. That's more than enough. And as you can see over here, how much film is standing up off the glass versus here. It's already laying down more because you can see where the relief cuts are overlapping. It can be done without the relief cuts. This is just gonna make your life a lot more easier and in return, make your job more enjoyable. And then I'll do the same thing on the bottom. Again, it's standing up off the glass a lot right here. So right there is where I'm gonna do a relief cut. I'm not gonna do as many on the bottom just because of the shape of the glass. Same thing here, couple. Trim off some of this, just keep it unnecessary. And now we're ready to start shrinking. Now there's a couple things I want to talk about that I, I show people and just like with any other sport, you can show someone, you can demonstrate, but no matter what, even if I show you exactly what to do, it's still gonna take practice. Because you're everyone has their own way that they're used to doing things, and to do it differently, it takes practice to break your old habits. So pay attention to how I hold the heat gun. I'm not really grabbing with my whole fist. And when I do grab with my fist, I'm still really light, or loose, excuse me, I'm loose, and I'm gripping it lightly. I'm not gripping it like this, I'm just gripping it and it's all in the wrist. I'm not moving my whole elbow and my whole shoulder. I'm just like this. It's actually more relaxing. It's e it feels easy to do what I'm doing. So if it feels hard, then it's not, you're not doing it the right way. This is really easy and I'm just really loose with my heat gun. And I keep it moving rapidly, but it's, it's just small little wiggles. And that way I can get really close to the film without, having to, without being worried I'm gonna burn it. Cause I like to get close, but not for long. So here we go. Okay, so one thing I wanna point out is I'm gonna stay away from the middle. The natural tendency from anyone is they wanna shrink where it's easy, where they know they can. So everyone wants to go, you're, you're, it's like, you're, it's a magnet to the easy spots. You have to focus on not going to where it's easy. I want the, the difficulty to, to shift to where it's easy. So if you go here, you're pinching it off and you're making here harder. So I'm not gonna go in the middle at all. And then in addition, if you're just starting, you wanna work nice and evenly. So I'm gonna do this corner the same I just did that corner. Watch my wrist, watch how close I am. Notice I have my right hand on the heat gun because I'm right-handed. So I want my good hand on the heat gun. I'm not going to the middle. So we see this, this film right here. There's like a ridge that's doing this. I want to pull that towards the easy area. So I'm going to grab the film and I'm going to pull it and make it go towards the easy area. Boom, that ridge is gone. Little, quick, fast wiggles back and forth, and I'm fairly close to the film. I'm about an inch, maybe a half an inch at times, close to the film. But the key thing is that I'm not going to where it's easy, which takes discipline and it takes just the awareness. Because again, naturally everyone wants, including me, you want to go to where it's easy because it's satisfying when you see the film suck up tight to the glass. So that's why it kind of pulls you there. So now I'm just going to kind of squeegee you this out so we could all see where I'm at. Again, once you get really comfortable with reading film, it's not really that necessary to squeegeeing it out. Squeegeeing it out is more just to show you where you're at. Okay, so this is where I'm at. I still have quite a bit to shrink right here, and I have even more to shrink on this side. 
So I'm gonna come over here, because if I come all the way down right here, it's pushing the, the troubles over here, so. Okay, so right about now, it's starting to not want to shrink as well. So here's the other big tip that I have. This is like one of the game changers. I've said it in other videos, but I can't say it enough. Once it starts to not want to shrink anymore, I skip from shrinking right here all the way to the edge of the film. So watch this. I'm going to shrink on the glass aid, right over the glass aid, where I don't mind if the film gets messed up. And I'm going to collapse it. You, and I say clap because you can actually watch the film clap. And then I'm gonna go back to the middle. We do that out just to see where I'm at. See how fast I'm moving the heat gun, see how close I am to the film. Every film is going to be slightly different. This is Lumar. And there we go. This, this corner is tintable. If I were to cut on this glass right here, it's not going to lay totally flat only because of the tape. But as you can see, it is shrunk all the way. So I'm going to come over here. I still haven't touched this easy part. So I'm gonna skip to the edge. And when I go up to the edge, if you notice, I actually go from side to side, action to swirls. Don't know why, it's just what works. So I'm doing swirls, still kinda quick, a little bit further away. Every little bit makes a difference, especially on a difficult window like this. And I'm there, I'm there to the glass edge. Now the most rewarding part is get to do what we call the easy part. And because I left this for the very, very end, it helped me get the corners down. So that's it. But if I put the H pattern in the wrong spot, I could have made this easier and this more difficult. So we won't know if I put the H pattern in the right spot until I shrink this right now. But the bottom is gonna be the same thing. This whole middle section is fairly easy. This is where we're gonna naturally be drawn to, to shrink it. Because if I shrink this, it's gonna suck up to the glass really easy. So I'm gonna try my best to not really touch this. And if I do, I'm gonna touch it only after both corners. So here, the main tip that I have is for pulling this finger towards the middle. Not just pulling straight this way, but I'm actually gonna grab the film and pull it like this. And it looks weird. It looks like the film wouldn't wanna shrink that way, but it does. So here we go. The finger on, pull it, pull it towards the center of the window. Another little tip 
is that if you see something off to the side and it looks like you can turn it into a cheater finger, don't don't try to shrink it just to just to find out that you can. I'm just gonna leave this. So everything from my hand towards me, or excuse me, everything on this side of my hand towards the camera, I'm just gonna leave that. Because I know I can squeegee that down after installation. And when I cut it off right here on the glass aid, that's essentially not even an issue. So that's why I left the film as close to the edge of the glass as possible, so I'm using as much of the glass as possible. And I'm remembering that. Another thing, it's going well, so naturally you want to keep going. You're like, oh, this is going well, sweet. You got to stop and go nice and consistent. I'm just barely doing a, a little bit of action with the heat gun, but the little bit of action makes such a big difference. It's, it's starting to not want to shrink. So now, I'm, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna skip all the, I'm normally shrinking right here. I'm gonna skip, and even if I ruin the edge of the film, that's okay. I'm gonna go from far away, swirls right at the edge of the film. And it, you could literally watch it collapse. I hope the camera can see that. It's shrinking the edge of the film, and then it creates this pocket. Boom. Right at the edge of the glass and at the edge of the film, it collapses. When you see it collapse like that, you know you're home free. Because now, this is all shrunk, it wants to let this shrink. Because you've taken away all the stress. So now here we go to finish it off. I'm, I'm a little bit further away because I don't want to be as aggressive. And I'm just doing big swirls. And in this middle part, it's almost over shrunk right here. And I never even actually point at the heat gun at this. It, just the way it worked, it, it shrunk the middle on its own. And, and we know that because the film is showing lines going side to side. Any lines going side to side means the film does not need to be shrunk. Here, there's a little finger. I could leave it. I could call that a cheetah finger and then get it to lay down after installation. But I'm going to show you how to get rid of it now. And I'm going to pull the film up, get some air underneath it, and then I'm going to aim the heat gun at the edge of the glass and then go up on it. So what I'm going to do now is actually cut the film out around the glass aid so that we can see what it looks like.
The good thing is the Glassade has a distinct feel underneath the blade. So you can feel if you cut through the Glassade and it's touching the glass. And I've yet to do that. I, it, again, it feels totally different than cutting on glass. So it's easy to tell if you've cut through the Glassade all the way or come off of it. And just uh, for anyone wondering, I get, I have all the hardest windows or the windows I believe to be the hardest. I got them all from the local junkyard. It's a great place to get glass that you want to practice on. Or if you're training guys and you want them to practice on it versus practicing on a car. But as you can see, we've got it all the way strung. Definitely ready for install. But I want to address a couple misconceptions. And that is just because I showed you how to do it, doesn't mean you're going to be able to do it first time. It takes practice. And then it also takes discipline to stay out of the areas that are tempting to shrink. In addition, if you get this car and you're not able to shrink it right away, I just want to let everyone know, those of you that don't know, the option, and most customers like this option even if you can do it all in one piece. But where this matrix is, it's a great option to shrink everything except for this and black this out with matrix. And then as always, you can always DM me or uh, comment below and I'm always happy to help. I check my phone all the time. So if you do get this car and you're in a pinch and you need help, please contact us and I'm always happy to help. We'll see you on the next video.